Alright guys, so today I thought I'd make a video on how to reveal a heat stamp. Um, I'm actually out here in my garage, a little bit of an echo, but um, I did a video on this, I don't know, maybe a year and a half or so ago. And I'm basically going to use the same method. Now, uh, one thing I want to say is, you know, a lot of times, if you're especially on Facebook groups or whatever, and um, you start talking about, you know, wanting to find out a heat stamp on a helmet, you'll get, you know, some people who disagree with with you know doing that as far as certain methods used um you know sometimes people use chalk or baby powder or other things to reveal a heat stamp but sometimes you know they've been painted over and you just can't see it but then again there are those collectors who uh, look down on anybody that wants to do any type of a paint removal um and you do have to be careful i guess with making decisions on certain things you want to do um like for example the one I'm going to use, uh, I got this helmet the other day. It's a World War II. It's a front seam helmet. Um, it's been refinished, but it wasn't done by the military. Like somebody did it themselves. And uh, overall, the outside looks pretty good. I'm not going to, you know, remove any paint from the outside. Um, the inside, let me show you. Um, you see the paint, it's just runny and everything. It's, it, it's definitely not a military uh, paint job for sure. Um, you can tell how sloppy it looks on the inside. You know, I'm not trying to be critical, but, you know, it's not the best paint job on the inside. Um, but I can see, you know, an outline of numbers and everything. And, again, really, if you think about it, when we display our helmets and everything, I mean, you're not really going to see the inside anyways. I mean, the helmet's going to be, you know, right side up like this. So it doesn't really matter the inside. I mean, you don't want to risk damaging, you know, something on the inside as far as, maybe a soldier's name or serial number or laundry number, information, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't do something like that. But like I said, this is a pretty good example here, uh, like I said, with the rough uh, you know, paint job on the inside. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use. Uh, I love this product right here. I've used it in many videos for you know helmets and liners and everything. Um, this is great stuff. It works very well. All you do is basically I use a toothbrush and brush it on. Let it sit for a few minutes and you can basically just wipe away. Um, you do have to be careful with this stuff. The reason I say that is because it's very, uh, it can be very messy. Um, I always use, you know, gloves and uh, with any chemical or anything, I always, you know, use one of these here, uh, respirators here to put over my mouth and nose. Uh, get you some toothbrushes and, you know, a rag to wipe away. But um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, Right in here is, is where the uh, the heat stamp is. I'm just going to rub some of this uh, citrus strip on there, let it sit a few minutes, and then I can just start using, really using this rag right here and start wiping through it, and it will reveal it in no time. But like I said, I'm not going to do anything to the outside of this helmet. No one's going to see the inside, uh, you know, no one's going to see the inside. So to me, it doesn't matter. You, I mean, it's your item. You can do whatever you want to with I would say just be wise at certain things you do want to do. Really think it through because you don't want to risk damaging something that's really special, you know. But anyways, let me get uh, everything together here, and I'm going to go ahead and brush some on, and I'll show you. So here we go. All right, so I just applied it. Barely brushed any. You see it's already breaking down to the primer. Now, you know, this... uh. Like I said, this is a pretty good example helmet here. Uh, it's not the original finish by any means. So, again, certain people will have opinions and everything. Which everybody has an opinion about something. But um, I just brushed it on there. You see, it's already eaten through there. And um, here in just a, you know a couple minutes or so, I'm gonna start wiping with uh, this rag right here, and we'll see what the heat stamp is. So let's give it a few more minutes. All right, so I've been brushing uh, in a circular motion with this toothbrush for just a few minutes, and if you can see that, you can the numbers are already basically showing up. You can see that right in there. I'm telling you, this stuff works great, but it is really like slimy and everything, and it, it makes your toothbrush all nasty. And you see this stuff over here. And yeah, you know, looking at the helmet, most people are like, man, that looks like crap now. The helmet's green. It's got like a rusty red color. But again, it's not going to be seen. It's on the, you know, it's it's on the inside of the helmet. So, but I'm going to show you here. I'm going to try to do this. Let's see. 
See, I got my gloves on. Start wiping everything. Basically, you're wiping, you know, the crud away, right? Sometimes you have to do this, uh, you know, apply the citrus strip and do it multiple times, but let's see. Bear with me. There it is. I'm trying to make it out. Looks like nine zero something A. So I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit more and uh and then we'll definitely see what the heat stamp is. So give me just a minute. Alright guys, so honestly I've tried here for a little bit trying to make out the whole heat stamp and uh, I actually took a pencil and kind of went back and forth over here and I'll show you what I'm looking at if you can see it there see there's a nine zero and then there's a space and an A I cannot make out the third number the third digit you know I've tried with magnifying glass and and uh, I've tried with um, like I said the pencil and a few other little different techniques but just cannot make out sometimes you know unfortunately uh, the numbers some of the numbers not the whole heat stamp But maybe just one digit or even a letter is just faintly stamped and you'll just never be able to make it out It's just too far faded too far gone You know and honestly like myself. I like to know exact numbers, you know, I guess I'm OCD or whatever, but But like I said, it's definitely nine zero and there's a space in the a <clears throat> now I do know that uh, like the really really early m1 helmets um some of those could have like you know two digits and then a a, a space and the letter um, And then sometimes you'll see like two digits a letter and then a space and another number off to the side, but um, Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make this one out. So I don't believe it's um, It's just 90 a I'm pretty sure there is a third digit in there but uh, unfortunately, you know, I'll just never know exactly what it is, but uh, like I said, definitely try the, the you know, the pencil lead. And, uh, because that'll help bring out the digits also a lot of times. But anyways, you know, if I hadn't done this removal, I wouldn't have known what the heat stamp is. And I wouldn't have known, uh, roughly, you know, the, the month and year it was made. I mean, yeah, there's other characteristics you can tell of a helmet when it was made. But, you know, again, I like to know exacts if possible. So, you know, I like to narrow down within a month or two the date of production. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I uh, hope you like this video. Um, I plan on doing a paint removal on a helmet liner I just got. It's been painted black, so I'm going to do that maybe in the next day or so and uh, post that video also. But anyways, definitely pick up this citrus strip. It's good stuff, but remember, it's messy. Always use gloves and a, and a mask and everything. And um, anyways, guys, I'll be getting back to you soon, so thank you.